In this video, I'll be explaining about Hortonworks data platform architecture. You might have heard about uh, other distributions such as Cloudera, Hortonworks, uh, MapR, even um, there's a providing from Amazon, which is EMR. Uh, I have particularly chosen Hortonworks here. Here is a functional architecture diagram of uh, Hortonworks data platform. Uh, as you can see, there are, there are uh, several sections here in this diagram. So let's go through one by one. So the first section is the governance and the integration. And here are uh, certain you know, workflow management and um, you know, data ingestion uh, services or applications available in order to uh, get the data from external world into HDFS. So this section is all about data ingestion part. Uh, in that you have um, an, a Falcon, Scoop, uh, Flume, NFS and WebD, uh, Web HDFS. The Scoop is a very command line uh, interface wherein you can uh, write your Scoop command uh, to you know get the data and dump uh, into HDFS or you know the other way and um, web HDFS or NFS uh, provides the interfaces through which you can um, load data from you know external um, you know location to the HDFS right so this is all about data ingestion part so the next section here is the data management part so this is where our actual HDFS which is Hadoop distributed file system exists and as you can see here these are number of data nodes so based on our need uh, we can have any number of data nodes in uh, the um, you know hadoop distribution right so similarly we have seen the data node uh, 1 till the data node n right so this is where uh, all the ingested data will be processed and stored in uh, hdfs right and uh, so this is all about data management and data storage layer Right, uh, the next section here is data access. So data access is nothing but, um, you know, uh, the way uh, to retrieve data which is present in the HDFS onto the uh, application that we choose to, uh, you know, we have on. So for example, you can write uh, the MapReduce batch uh, scripting, um, maybe using a Java or any other, you know, uh, programming you can write your custom uh, MapReduce and then get those executed on HDFS. So how the, the handshake between uh, the data access layer and data management layer is via YARN, right? This, there is another uh, technology here uh, called as TES. So that is one of the uh, uh, execution engine, but most widely used um, engine is YARN, right? But, but uh, in the recent past, there are several you know access uh, methods uh, that make use of TES execution right we'll talk about it in a minute so between this data access layer and the data management layer yarn is something uh, which provides all the necessary resources to take um, you know command or whatever the request from the data access layer and then pass it to hdfs and retrieve the data and then process it back um, i mean give the output back to the data access layer applications, right? So we just talked about uh, writing MapReduce program in Java and then getting those executed on Yarn engine and uh, getting the um, you know expected results out of it, right? So that is one of the batch. So uh, instead of that, you can even have uh, scripting uh, using Pig, right? Pig uh, provides the grunt shell uh, through which you can um, you know write your scripts and perform any data aggregation, data retrieval, or uh, or any type of uh, no data analysis, you can do it uh, using uh, Pig also. And um, uh, as we have seen in traditional uh, SQL operations in SQL Server or you know, data Oracle, uh, so likewise, uh, even Hadoop has got um, you know data access way uh, using SQL layer. You can literally write a structured query language in Hive. Um, and then uh, get those, um, you know, SQL queries, talk to HDFS and retrieve the data and display the results on your SQL window. So there are a couple of ways you can uh, have your Hive um, you know, queries executed either via ARN or you can even execute your Hive um, queries using TES, right? So that is uh, another uh, way of you know, executing. So moving on, um, so we have seen the batch, 
script mode and then the SQL mode and uh, Hadoop has got uh, even NoSQL solution uh, which is a hedge base right so I have a separate video on hbase base you can um, probably go back and watch uh, from my playlist right so this is uh, the NoSQL columnar database solution from uh, Hortonworks uh, distribution even though the entire stack is um, uh, you know, developed and licensed to Apache. Uh, it's it's all licensed to Apache. Uh, however, Hortonworks does a lot of work on top of it to resolve the bugs, do some enhancement, introduce new, um, you know, uh, tools and applications, and also provide a lot of uh, support activities. So that's where they make money uh, from this entire, um, you know, support. Uh, so that is one thing. And there are several streaming uh, applications are available. And uh, there are a couple of you know in-memory analytics, um, you know features as well in the data access layer. All right, so moving on, uh, we have a security layer also embedded um, in the HTTP, and security is provided at each and every layer. Uh, whether you consider, you know, having a security at the HDFS layer, which is very crucial. That's where your data gets stored in the, you know, HDFS. Right, so that that's a scru crucial. So um, security is provided at uh, HDFS layer, Yarn, Hive, and any other application layer using uh, something called as Knox. So Knox is the security provider for uh, Hadoop uh, you know, distribution. Of course, there are a couple of other um, you know uh, application services uh, are also available, uh, like you know Ranger, wherein you can control. Um, uh, access to certain you know, folders or certain applications. So yeah, so this is this is all about you know security. Coming to operations, uh, you have got provision uh, manage and monitoring uh, services such as Ambari and Zookeeper. Right, Ambari is an admin console uh, through which you can um, you know view all the services that are running. If they are uh, not running, uh, it'll also have the corresponding you know log messages on. Um, like what was the issue like how do we you know resolve uh, there are uh, built-in you know drop downs uh, action drop downs through which you can uh, you know start the service or stop the service so Ambari uh, I will have a separate video uh, on this uh, so that I can uh, you know give the hands-on uh, demo on that so uh, just watch out for that uh, video so apart from that you have a zookeeper also uh, Zookeeper is nothing but a monitoring, um, you know, service which will uh, take care of monitoring whether my, you know, hive is up or not, or HBase is up or not, uh, or if we have multi-node cluster, it will also know um, how to, you know, do the load balancing and also when some nodes go down, uh, it will automatically, you know, put uh, pass the services from the passive node to active node. So all those things are done by the zookeeper, right? So these are uh, the provisioning and uh, managing and monitoring, um, you know, operations. And the last bit is the scheduling part, uh, as you might be knowing, right? You know, if you have uh, multiple batch scripts or you know multiple hive queries, or several other uh, possible you know scenarios, right? You know, you may have scripting hundreds of scripting or hundred of you know hive sequels to be executed based on certain you know condition so you can make use of OZ uh, OZ is nothing but an XML based scheduling tool uh, through which you can um, you know execute any sort of you know scripting batch or even hive queries uh, which can be bundled into a SQL file and call those and execute those based on certain you know parameters or event or time based so th there are a lot of scheduling um, you know options available in OZ so that is um, you know the part of OZ. So on a high level, you have the data management layer, which is the data storage as well. That's where your uh, data exits. And data access layer is where uh, you uh, write your uh, scripts or queries and interact with the HDFS and retrieve the data, right? And we have ingestion tools to bring the data from external world into HDFS. Right, and uh, the security, uh, which is a very um, important factor, which is available in each of the layers so that your data is protected. Right, and finally, you have monitoring um, and management uh, on operations tools. 
and along with that scheduling tool.